class. I'm Dr. April Strom, and today what we're going to look at is the chain rule. So let's just do a quick reminder of the chain rule itself. So the chain rule stems from composition of functions and trying to take the derivative of two functions that have been composed together. And by composed together, what I mean is I have two separate functions and I am putting one function into another function. So it's a total different process than say adding functions, subtracting functions, multiplying them, or even dividing them. It's what we consider a fifth operation. So the process of finding the, different, the derivative is a little bit different than all the other types of functions. And so what we have here is if I have something like f composed of g of x, and I need to find its derivative, what's gonna be really important for us is that we can with our eyes see what is considered the quote unquote inside function versus what is the outside function. And so I'm using two different colors here to kind of distinguish that and help us with that. But the rule is, once I need to take the derivative of a composition, I am going to take the derivative first of the outside function. Here's the trick. We have to keep the inside function the same for that derivative of the outside function. So we're going to find the derivative of the outside function, but we're going to keep the inside function intact. No changes. And then we're going to one day multiply by the inside function's derivative. Well, that one thing is right now, we are gonna now multiply here by that derivative of that inside function. That's how we take care of that piece. So again, we have a composition of functions. We're finding its derivative. We need to take the derivative of the outside function, keeping the inside function the same, and then multiply by the derivative of that inside function. So the problem that we're gonna work with now is this function, h of x equals the exponential. So it's five to the power of two x plus one. When we look at this function, you might not recognize that there's actually a composition of functions here because there's no parentheses or brackets, something to kind of distinguish that I've got two parts here, but I really do. And so if we can kind of make note of this, we've got what I'm gonna consider this inside function here. We're gonna say the inside function is actually this power. So we're gonna call that uh, 2x plus one for that actual power part. And then the outside function is sort of this bigger function, the thing that I would put that inside function into. And so in our case here, our outside function would have to be, say, five to the x, because in the beginning, before I actually compose them together, I had five to the x sitting there, and then I would take the more complicated inside function of two x plus one and embed it in, inside the power there of five to the x. So here we go, we are trying to take the derivative of this h of x function. So we're gonna have h prime of x is going to be equal to, h prime of x is going to be equal to the outside function, per the rule, the derivative of the outside function. Okay. Well, it turns out when I come here and I think about the derivative of five to the x, well, the derivative of five to the x, just to make a little note here, is according to the exponential rule, five to the x again, but times the natural logarithm of that five, of that base. So five to the x times the natural logarithm of five. When I come over here to take this derivative, keep in mind, per the, the chain rule process, I need to keep the inside function intact. So I'm gonna find the derivative of h of x. Starting with the outside function, I have five to the power, two x plus one, I kept the inside function intact, but I can't forget to also multiply by the natural log logarithm of five. That part here is just the derivative of the outside function, keeping the inside function intact. But per the chain rule, I also have to now multiply that quantity by the derivative of that inside function. And I'm gonna write it this way, we have 2x plus one was the inside function, and I'm gonna find now its derivative. I really like keeping these just one step at a time processes, so I don't do too much in one step. So this part written here in black is just the derivative of the outside function, keeping the inside function intact, and here I go, and my next step, I'm now gonna have to derive that power of 2x plus one. So when I finish this off, I have h prime of x equals five to the two x plus one times this quantity, natural logarithm of five, times the final quantity here, the derivative of two x plus one, which in fact is just 
two. And I can make this look a little bit nicer. All of my calculus and finding the derivative is done, but usually we try to put the constants out front. It turns out not only is two a constant, but so is natural log five. I could actually put that in my calculator and get a decimal number. And so let's put both those constants out in front of the bigger function here. We can write this as two natural log of five times, just to be clear that we're multiplying, five to the two X plus one. And then to be super safe about this, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply um, and show that by that parentheses there around the bigger function. So here's my two constants, two natural log five times five to the two X plus one. So that's it for that particular function for an exponential. Just be careful to not forget to multiply by uh, the, the uh, constant natural log of whatever the base is um, when you're finding that derivative. And in our next video, we're gonna look at another example dealing with the power rule of the chain rule.